So how to get a job? Say now I am interested. Oh God! After ten years, I'll be making more than a captain. Even this is the job I want. How to get there, sir? Hi everyone! Jai Hind, Jai Bharat, Jai Mata Di. Another video on ship to shore with great Captain Rana over here to guide us on commercial shipping part of ship broking. So today, I hear all the time that eighty-five percent business of shipping is in buying and selling of ships. 10% in chartering and then 5% remaining is in just this ship management nothing much so ship broking is the biggest deal buying and selling of ships so i thought why not make this video with captain ranan get an insight so sir here are you please give us insights on ship broking so i'll start with my first question sir a brief description on what is ship broking then we'll move ahead right right so uh, essentially um, um i'll i'll just cover up the entire broking space uh, first uh so in any and every field uh, right now um there is a um information gap right um and it is rightly so because it's very difficult for any one company any one party to essentially know whatever is happening um for example if we even have to search a house in dehradun right uh, you you need a broker Uh, right it's very difficult to know it from contacts now imagine from there are don you know come to uttarakhand come to india come to asia come to the whole entire world you need to find a vessel uh, sitting you are a cargo owner um, in in up and you need to find a vessel to transport your grains from india to uh, wherever you would like to take it uh, how do you find it right uh, and that's where uh, these uh, broking houses these brokers come into play right um, so essentially what you have to do is you have to connect uh, the vessel owners to the cargo owners um, to ensure that uh, the, i mean particular cargo is transported uh, at, from one place from place a to place b in the right time right so that's one kind of uh, broking which is uh, uh, on the cargo side right uh then there is a broking which is on sale and purchase of the vessels uh, right so you've got a um, um, you know the market is heating up you you've uh, already given an order of a vessel so many companies uh, what they want to do is might want to do is they want to sell the vessel while it is being built right uh, some companies they want to uh, they, they want to monetize their assets 5 years after uh, you, you know they have they have operated the vessel they want to sell it off so that's where or, or after 20 years that's where you need ship brokers to essentially um sell of the uh, uh, sell or buy of the vessel so that's essentially the role which is involved uh, in the commercial uh, shipping as such so sir coming back to the point i am an engineer and you are a captain so who will get a better opportunity in terms of the field in, in ship broking or is it <laughs> who is a better seller you need to fix uh, so uh, it is um, uh, i i would say um, it is immaterial of whether you are an engineer or a deck officer uh, what matters most is how good are you in your communication how good are you in uh, in ways of convincing um, your uh, um, uh, your colleagues uh how better can you build a network right these are the three key skills which are required irrespective of whether uh, you you are uh, an engineer or a deck officer probability is a little higher for a deck officer for the simple reason that with cargo they are much more uh, uh, working on the cargo side of things so they know the operation of a cargo uh, an engineer may know a little less so that's the reason why the probability could be a little less so can you name sir any big ship broking houses uh, name of if you can name a few which are really doing good they are huge right so i think let me start with the biggest uh, i would say uh, shipping house in india it's probably interocean uh, right uh, they have a whole building to themselves uh, in uh, in south delhi Uh, and now they've taken another one uh, in the outskirts as well. Uh, you've got uh, Segal Sea Trade as well. You've got McWilling. Um, so this essentially um, used to be a field where probably 
uh, Europeans and more specifically uh, either Britishers or Greeks, uh, you know, had their uh, hold uh, and which is probably still there. But uh, we've got, uh, uh, you know, Singapore as well, where a lot of companies are there. And many of them are also shifting to um, India, setting up their offices. Initially, they set up with post-fix operation, but now the core broking is also probably shifting to India as well. So, sir, as a chief engineer, say as a second engineer, a third engineer, as a deck officer, as a captain, if I want to transition from sailing to ship broking, what all do I need to do? Okay. Um, in my view, um, and especially in this kind of field, you require a lot of uh, um, sustenance and passion to 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 be go good in this field. Besides your inherent talent of uh, um, being the uh, sorry, uh, besides your inherent talent to being um, good in networking, um, right? Um, and why I say um, sustenance and passion is because as an entry level, you start low, absolutely low, right? Um, I, I know people have earned peanuts when they started uh, in this field, uh, but they grow extremely, extremely big. Um, um, so that sustenance for two years, uh, that passion for two years is very important to keep you alive within this field. And sir, how much will that, just asking, how much are those peanuts? Uh, 1 lakh rupees a month, 50,000 rupees a month, approximately, just uh, 30,000 rupees a month. Or Honestly, even I, I, I know people, a master, a chief engineer, starting um, maybe about 7, 8 years, not 5 years back, starting at 50, 60,000. Nowadays, uh, a master chief engineer probably will get about a lakh rupees, uh, right? So On imagine that a superintendent, you get 3 lakhs. But in uh, uh, and and the same skills, right? Uh, same experience. But in this, you get one lakh. But in five years down the line, I can promise you, if you have sustained, just sustained yourself for five years, you will be earning more than uh, what a superintendent would earn, and ten years down the line, much, much, much more than what a superintendent would earn. So, just one thing I want to know. So, when the salary is less. So does it matter if I'm as a captain, I'm getting into this thing or as a third engineer, second engineer, as a junior, if I want to get into ship broking, that would make sense. What do you suggest? Okay. Um, there used to be a period where senior officers, engineers were preferred, but now, uh, uh, because at that time, um, you know, the, the field was also increasing, not many senior persons were there. Nowadays, uh, companies do prefer um, someone at an officer level, uh, at an operations level, um, uh, either an engineer or an officer to, to get into it and then grow their way up. So how to get a job? Say, now I am interested. Oh God, after 10 years, I'll be more than a captain. Even this is the job I want. How to get there, sir? Okay. Um, there are two ways, honestly. Um, number one uh, is the crude way uh, wherein Make a good CV, make a decent LinkedIn ID, uh, professional ones, right? Um, write down those 50 companies in India which are hiring, right? Um, spend that four days in Delhi, spend four days in Bombay, um, visit each and every company, <laughs> tell them, sir. And, and and be extremely sure why you want this job, right? <laughs> uh, show your passion, show your commitment. Uh, you might have to sit there for an hour to get an appointment, two hours, but and I'll probably you'll just meet for five minutes. Uh, but have your CV with you, leave it over there, um, and and keep on doing it, right? <laughs> and I can promise you, you will get results out of it. It's a crude way. Just sitting at home. Sending CVs <coughs> may help, may not help, right? If you are uh, lucky. Yeah, but but doing this will really help, right? So that's one way. In order to show that you are more interested, right? You can do a course, right? So you can do an ICS course, right? Or you can do a distance learning course as well. Uh, but will... Will you get a job just because you have done a course? No. 
right uh, this course is to show that you are interested and you have taken some efforts to um, um to learn more about it <coughs> right uh, so that's the purpose of doing the course um so so that's number one right number two is look for a amazing university which gives a full time course so for example there's cas in uk there is solent in uh, uk and and uk is the hub right or there is alba business school in greece right uh, they have these courses which are into shipping um and they will give you the holistic overview of uh, of 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 what happens in shipping but more importantly over there you build your network right over there you um, and, and 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 not just with the industry but with the professors as well who will could then recommend your name uh, and and that's probably a little better way although you will spend a little bit more um uh, it's a one year course but i i would suggest that this may be a little a more short short way uh, of 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 go, going doing uh, going going about things right so these are the two ways of doing it uh, to each his own nothing is right or wrong enough people have succeeded in one of uh, in either of the ways but aap kuch bhi tarike se kar sakte hain success will uh, come to you in the second part the uh, chances of success is higher <laughs> what is this ics uh, ics courses uh, institute of chartered ship broking and how long is the course just small there is no, there's no course actually over here it's a um, um, examination institute and they have their exams so the, their exams are twice a year uh, you, you i mean you just need to study for uh, maybe couple of hours a week for 3 4 months and you should be able to get them so all in all in cut short if i want to put if you have a penchant for selling you feel you're a salesman you can sell yourself you can sell dreams to people and if you can sell a pen maybe tomorrow you can sell a cycle the day after tomorrow you can sell a ship then go ahead maybe this is the job that you were looking for merchant navy was a path to reach there with this all i can say is keep working and very soon i'll be i'll be coming with someone who is into ship broking who has sold ships who has bought ships or guided companies to buy or sell those ships so that you get more idea thank you very much jai hind jai bharat jai mata thank you captain rana hi if you are a marine engineer or a deck officer who is looking to quit sailing i think so that okay, this video has been of some help and if you want all details of how to successfully transition from ship to shore for deck side or for engine side then we have made this complete course free of cost informative course for you guys on merchant navy decoded the link is in the description box as well as in the pinned comment so if you are a marine engineer you have a different section different course and if you are a deck officer there is a different course for you for successfully transitioning from ship to shore so please go ahead do that course get all the information if you have got any query contact team merchant navy decoded we will help you guide you to make uh, welcome changes and become successful thank you jai hind jai bharat jai mata ji